movie about Darjeeling Black Tea, so we're going to do a review. We're also just going to tell you about them, and as a matter of fact, we're going to have a cup right now because I think it's steeped. For Darjeeling teas, you steep it for about one to two minutes, so I think we're ready. So we're going to pour it now. Thank you, Rachel. And I like my teas without milk. Some people like theirs with milk. Um, I don't add anything to mine really. Some people add sugar or cream or milk and stuff. But the most I normally add is maybe some lemon sometimes. Because that can just add a nice lemony flavor and it sort of just is refreshing and nice, I think. It's kind of tart. And I like it. Um, well, when it, the Darn Shielding Tea is properly brewed. It has a thin bodied, light colored light color, and it has a florally aroma. So we can smell our teas, we can like tell it smells like floralish. <laughs> and mm, it has a musky spiciness. Mm. And it's very nice and rich, and I'm going to leave this to cool for a minute. Um, Traditionally, Darjeeling teas were classed as a black tea, but that now the modern Darjeeling style, it has a hard weather, which is um, 35 to 40% of remaining leaf weight after weathering, and it turns it into incomplete oxidation for many of the best teas, um, which makes it actually a form of oolong, which is blue tea and we'll have some of that and we'll try that sometime in another video and um the varieties it the first variety is the first flush it's called and first flush is harvested mid-march um after the spring raise and it has a very gentle very light color and aroma and in between is harvested between the two flush periods so in between mid-march and June, so any time between then would be the in-between. Second flush is harvested in June, and it produces an amber full-bodied flavored cup. It's musky and sort of mysterious, it's kind of spicy. And monsoon or rain tea, it's harvested in the monsoon or rainy season between the second flush and autumn. No, I can't say it, I'm sorry. It's less withered and it's more oxidized and it's normally cheaper and it's very rarely exported and autumnal, autumnal, I don't know, flush, it's harvested in the autumn after the rainy season and it has a less delicate flavor and less spicy tones that have a fuller body and darker color. So that's what we have today and you can see, can you see that? Sort of the color. Yeah. So Rachel, what's your favorite cup of tea? Well, I really dislike any herbal teas pretty much. Any herbal? I prefer black teas myself. And green teas are nice. And do long, of course. I should think it's do long. But um, it's known as the queen of teas in the champagne of teas because it's normally very rare to get and it's kind of it's expensive most of the time unless you get um, the monsoon variety when it's cheaper and, and harvested in the rainy times it's normally well it's more expensive if you want to get the loose tea it would be more than you some people they wouldn't get it cause it's, I'm not sure it would probably be a couple ounces for twenty dollars so it can get there um, it's the color, it varies from a golden yellow to a rich amber, and the flavor can be floral, nutty, or even delicately fruity sometimes. I think this is more, more of a floral, nutty-ish. I can definitely taste floral, nutty. <laughs> you can taste the floral, nutty. <laughs> What's the smell? That's the smell. I can taste smells sometimes. Yeah. 
Um, Darjeeling tea, as you know, it's grown in India, and it's in more than 90 highland and mountain states, and it's in the foothills of the Himalayas from 2,500 to 6,500 feet. It's grown up there in the mountains, and you can always count on them for quality, but you don't have to hesitate to try others. Um, you can always find like an overlooked one. And when you want to pick a Darjeeling tea, you can either just get it in a box like we did. So we were just in the supermarket and we found this tea and it said Darjeeling and said champagne flat tea. So we thought it sounded good. So we went ahead and got this box. Right, Rachel? So we got this. But you can also get Darjeeling teas loose. You can get them in Tivana. I know the sells them. And those are pretty good. Um, but when you're looking for one, um, look for the flush in the grade. Flush refers to the season of harvest. You know, the first per uh, flush, second, we went over that. And grade is indicated by the letters that follow the name of the tea. And it looks complex, but it's really quite simple. Um, first flush teas is, you know, early spring, mid-March. They're more fresh and refined flavor, but um, they're more delicate. They should be brewed at lower temperatures if you get a first flush tea. Um, second flush, they're early summer, as you know, in June. That their page we went over that too. And they should be brewed with boiling water, so a bit hotter than the first flush for three to four minutes, so longer too. And also, when you're looking for one, you want to learn about the grade, so you can get um, like super fine, fine, that's premium grade, tippy, high percentage of fine leaf tips, which means it will have it will be have more of a delicate flavor and refined quality. And then you need to know the leaf size, so you can decide on that. And it all decides on which tea you want, so that will help you pick. And for us, we're going to go have our cups of tea, and we hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.